smile on Tiffany's bad bitch. Okay, One, okay. okay. wait, okay. Wait, don't judge me. No, just, just count it down. One, two. Are you doing bad bitch first or smile? Smile, smile, smile first. Okay, okay. two, three. That's not right. Wait, sorry. Wait, no. <laughs> Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Corners in the paddock in my piece. A push a piece. Cop no hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. If I could turn back the hands of time and make you fall in love. Love me again. So what? You get me. But um, yeah, I've been like listening to this song by Jenny Jackson, Janet Jackson, You Don't Know What You Got Until It's Gone. And I'm just like, girl, girl, who you selling? Who you selling? And whether that be from my end or um, someone else saying, they ain't no way they hate until it's gone. You know what I'm but um, yeah, and it just had me doing like a lot of thinking me doing a lot of thinking and like those faces that you saw in the intro to me it symbolizes all the people that um have came and gone throughout my journey of stepping into and growing to the woman that i am destined to be if that makes sense so those are the people who have came along my journey and you have um who are no longer here huh, to uh, partake in my journey whether it be because of their doings or my doings or just the universe just stepping in and saying eh, that ain't it. or uh they serve their purpose you know what i'm saying so that was that for me so that 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 and the faces and the song like that was like how I was like feeling this morning. I'm like, you know what, this is a lot. I like this. And it kind of, honestly, I don't know, I feel like a lot of things happen. I feel like everything happens for a reason. And it's so weird. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it's like, I'm, a, I'm doing, ah, this is like a little rant, but um, it all makes sense. So the other day, when was this, on Thursday? On Thursday, I was at home and I was like cleaning and doing all this stuff. And then I'm pretty sure like a lot of you guys do. For me, when I'm like cleaning and stuff, I like to listen to, if I'm not listening to music, I'm listening to um, like a YouTube video, mm -hmm. whether it be like a YouTube video. So Thursday, I was listening to a reading um, from this um, YouTuber that I had just like came across. And the reading was about someone trying to 
come back into your mouth from the nose. And they're gonna come off as if their intentions are pure, or they're gonna come off as if it's authentic and genuine, but in reality, it's not. Their intentions are pure and um, don't entertain or um, get sucked into this person's antics or whatnot. And I was like, mind you, the reading was recorded and posted three days prior to me seeing it. But she was saying like, um, this, this, this can apply to a lot of people in many different ways. Um, I don't know when you're going to see it, but when you see it, know that it's meant for you. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, mental note. Well, I actually, I didn't take a mental note, actually. In my brain, I was thinking like, damn, I wish I would've saw this back in 2000. That's not what I'm by the way, making all that noise. Um, I was thinking like, damn, I wish I would've saw this uh, back in um, 2020, December 2020, when that Negro came back into my mother freaking life, when I was in the process of moving forward, you know? That's how I was, I was like, damn. But come to find out that I feel like, I really do feel like that reading was still for me. Because that very next day, I so randomly, so randomly get a text message. Get a text message from this girl. I'm going to say this girl. And she's like, hey, SQ, this is my new number. Um, I just wanted to check on you. You can hit me up anytime. And I'm like, ooh, it was a 757 number though. But a lot of times I do get text messages from 757 numbers um, that's trying to reach out to somebody named Brian or oh, Brandon, trying to reach out to somebody named Brandon. And I'm like, y'all got the wrong number. Um, so I had texted the number back and I was like, I was like, I think you may have the wrong number, who is this? But I already kind of had like a, a hmm that it was somebody that I knew because of the way they text. And they text like we used to freaking text back in 2008, 2009. Like the SQ. We used to use Q as G back in the day when we were like messaging and stuff. So the SQ stands for sister girl. So she was saying, hey sister girl, it's big sister, is my new number. But I'm just like, new number? Girl, I haven't spoken to you in like four or five years. Like, girl, you be going to ghost. Like, no. So I messaged back and I was like, who is this? Not the concealer. Dang. Anywho. And so she puts like, nausea. Like she spells my name a certain type of way. She puts like N-A-W-S-Z-A. And I didn't respond because I'm like, I asked who this was. Like, I don't, I just, just say who you are. And she didn't do that. So I just didn't respond. So then she messaged me again and she puts like a black girl shrug. And I just didn't respond. I'm like, I'm not responding to that. But she messaged back. It was maybe like seven minutes after her first message. And then 10 minutes after that message, she messaged me this long paragraph talking about. Um, we've had our issues in the past, but basically saying we've had our issues in the past, but we're both grown now, but have a good night. First and foremost, <laughs> I'm still trying to process the fact that you texted me. I'm trying to process that in my brain. And so my thing is, you don't know what I'm doing. I could have been doing my makeup. I could have been washing my ass. I could have been getting some penis. I could have left my phone in the house because I got two phones and went somewhere. Like anything. And for you to be so pressed, for you to be so pressed for a response that fast and to send that message, I don't know, I just think it's a good feeling. I'm just like, in my brain, I'm like, this ain't, this ain't. No, something ain't right. Like it don't make like it don't make sense. Like something ain't right. And if if her intentions were pure in my brain, I feel like if I would have first she would have called me. I feel like you would have called me. That's that's just me because that's just how I operate. But I understand that everybody don't operate the same. Two, um, when I asked you who this was, you should have said, 
this is such and such, like, or call me or whatever, but she didn't want to do that. You didn't want to really announce yourself because I feel like you know you want some weird shit and you know it's not really genuine. Really. If that, cause, it, cause girl, mm, that, girl, girl, if that was the case, if you was, if we were both all grown, no, I don't think you are grown. I think you childish because just that text thread was to me childish. So no, we're not both grown. I think you're childish and I think you're coming to me with some bullshit. So, and it made me think about the reading that I listened to the day before. And I'm like, oh no, that reading was for me. I'm not, no, stay far away. The readings that say far away. You ain't gonna do nothing but put yourself through unnecessarily mental, emotional turmoil. And um, the feelings, I'm gonna start, I've learned to just start trusting my instinct, trusting my gut and going with it. Um, because whenever I go against that, whenever I give people the benefit of the doubt, I always end up somehow getting my feelings hurt. Hey Google, pause. Anyways, I went ahead and just um, finished my makeup and stuff off camera because I was like, okay, I'm taking too long. Yeah, I've been talking for like two minutes now. And I'm trying to maximize the hours of my day. You know, I still have two other dedicated videos that I want to do. <laughs> and I also want to go outside and edit them. Well, like go to like a package or something and edit them and submit them. So, trying to maximize the hours of the day. So I was like, you know what? Let me just hurry and do my makeup. And then I come back to my kindreds. Have like some intimate time, but um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and just install this wig. This wig is actually from uh, another company, and they want me to just do like a dedicated review on YouTube. You know, they're gonna pay me to do a review to get my honest review. And so, for the girls who get it, get it, and the girls that don't, so I'm also a hairstylist, so you know, I'm kind of giving y'all like the approved companies that I don't mind working with if you don't want to get your wig from me. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and do this install real quick, and then after that, I have to do another dedicated video of a trial haul. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll get back on camera. And like I said, it just seems like me time, me and my my fellow kindreds time. But you know, I gotta get the work done real quick. Like I said, the girls that get it get it, and the girls that don't just just don't. And that's okay. <laughs> hey Google, play. productive day I'm loving it I think I'm um, for now on I just need to hurt I just need to start my days every single day with breakfast I feel like it was the breakfast it was the breakfast in the coffee that got me just feeling oh so amazing I had to take a little quick pause because I was like I'm gonna show my kindreds how to make a simple cocktail well if you know me as my kindred should know me but I don't know if y'all really know that part of me but I love making cocktails for my friends and stuff and like my family and stuff like that. That's like my thing. I just really love making cocktails and experimenting with different spirits and liqueurs and like different like ingredients, stuff like that. I just think that is so fun. So today I'm gonna show my kindreds how to make like a simple cocktail. And you can really do this with any spirits of your choice, you know? I think I want to be like a, I think I should like bring this onto the channel. like. Look, I'm grown now, okay? Your girl is 26, so, and I looked at my analytics, and my analytics is more geared towards people from the age of 26 and 35. Like, that's where the majority of my percentage is. So, I feel like the type of content that I make should gear towards the people that is watching my stuff. Little girls ain't like watching my videos. 19 year olds, 21 year olds, they're not watching my videos. It's people in my age range and above that are watching my videos. So. I'm gonna bring some new stuff to the to the platform, okay? We're about to be making some cocktails, which I'm like super excited. So, um, the only thing that I have in my house right now, and that's because I had a gathering the other day. Um, the only thing that I have, which y'all probably gonna see later on in this vlog. So this vlog might actually be a little backwards, which is okay. So we have um, Tres um, Generaciones Tequila Reposado. I've never tried this before, before that night. I had just saw this 
in the store. And I was like, this bottle is so cute. Like, look, I know. I was like, this bottle is so cute. I was like, yeah, we're gonna pick that up. Cause I wanted, I wanted my girls to try something new. You know, everybody always drinks like Casamigos, Don Julio, Hennessy, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna try something new. Tres Generaciones Tequila Reposado. And baby, baby, this right here, hit the spot, this right here hit the spot. So like, I also have like my friend, she she doesn't drink like black liquor or anything like, she loves Hennessy. So I didn't get Hennessy and I didn't really try anything because I didn't really know what to do. I was like, what cognac should I get? I, I didn't know. So if y'all have any suggestions of like new cognacs, or not new cognacs, but like cognacs that like aren't as like po like popular mainstream, like Hennessy and Duce, please let me know. So I had went ahead and just got some Duce, but um, Tonight, today, we're gonna be working with this tequila. So we're gonna make a cocktail with the tequila. Yeah, we're about to get into it. I'm so excited. Ah, I'm about to start making this a thing. We're about to start doing this on like Instagram. We're about to start making Instagram reels on how to make a cocktail. But we're not gonna do that today because I don't have like all the ingredients to make it aesthetically pleasing. And you know Instagram like aesthetically pleasing type of stuff. But because I'm vlogging and it's just me and my kindreds, I feel like y'all don't mind the raw content. So yeah, we're gonna be working with some um, tequila. It's called Tres Generaciones Tequila Repesado. And then we're gonna be working with some lemon juice, right? And then we're gonna be working with some simple syrup. So this is simple syrup that I made. You literally just put sugar and water in a pot and boil it. And it turns into a syrup. You let it sit and um, it has like the syrupy type of like vibe to it. But you have to have like the right measurements for it to be syrup because it can it can definitely just be sugar water but you don't want sugar water you want sugar syrup you want simple syrup <laughs> but we'll get into that later like in a different video because i don't really have time i'm trying to head out the door but i wanted to show you how to make a quick cocktail real quick and then we're going to be working with some ginger so like this is like ginger candy i get this from trader joe's but you can literally get it from anywhere um it's literally ginger with like sugar and stuff and then we're gonna work with some mint and then for to garnish it we're gonna use rosemary okay and then for the fruit look we're gonna use raspberry and blackberry okay so all right take mental notes we got the tequila choice of spirit we got the tequila we got the lemon juice all right we got the simple syrup that you make on your own and then we got some um, ginger candy. For fruit, we got raspberries and blackberries. And we have mint. And we gonna like muddle that, mud, mud, is it muddle? Look, look, I'm learning too, like look. We gonna muddle that in the, in the drink. And then to garnish it, we're gonna use the rosemary because that's just gonna set it off. And don't forget the sugar on the rum. Cause you know, girls like sugar on the rim. I'm not a salt person with tequila. I prefer sugar with my tequila, but hey. But hey, to each his own. Hold on. To each his own, baby. We about to do this the real hood ghetto style, all right? Cool, don't judge me. I'm gonna do something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing slash like you know what I'm saying? Upscale slash like bourgeois, you know, another time. Cause y'all know I can come through with the aesthetics, okay? I can come through with a vibe, but right now we gonna just like, we gonna rock out. Okay, so what I'm looking for? Sugar, we need sugar. So first and foremost, you're gonna need one of these shaker things. I don't know what it's called. I'll put it down, like I'll put it somewhere around here. You're gonna need one of these sugar things. You know, I like to get my flowers where it is due. I've been crying about having like a bartender like kit for like a very long time. I mean, I could have easily just bought it, but like, I don't know, I always procrastinate on myself. Any out of the who's. Y'all favorite person in the whole wide world, Brandon, gifted me with this like this bartender set, right? Where it has like the shakers, the tonsors, the the wine opener, the the, the screws, and then like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like this, where you like actually put inside. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all. But he gifted it to me, he sent it to me in, in the mail, and I looked, I was like, oh shit! Okay, anyways, cool. So we got this now, so we won't have to do it like the, the, the hood way, you know what I'm saying? We can do it like the professional way. 
So you're gonna need one of these, right? And I'm going to, um, and you're also gonna need like a measuring cup. So I got this, this is Belvedere. So I got this with one of my um, Belvedere purchases. Oh, no, actually, oh, matter of fact, short little story time. So when I was in the military, I was working at a cocktail lounge, right? It was like a cigar slash cocktail lounge with like all the bourgeois, like where people came um, to smoke their cigars and like talk about rich people shit. So yeah, I used to work there and we had one one day, like a lot of times we would have like meetings before our shift, before the, the lounge opened um, to talk about like new things on the menu, you know, whatever, whatever. But this day we had a tasting, so Belvedere came and we had like did like a tasting of how to make different cocktails with Belvedere, like what different cocktails make with Belvedere or whatever. And that was fun, so we ended up um being able to keep like they gave all of us like one of these like measuring cups with the Belvedere vodka on there and I thought that was a vibe because I love Belvedere and I get that from my mama I get it from my mama my mama put me on the Belvedere so I prefer Belvedere as my vodka yeah yeah we meant to know meant to know you know what I'm saying not, not, we getting to know each other today we getting to know each other today but anywho how to lose we're going to use this as our measuring cup right so this is two ounces and this is one ounces so the short side is one ounce and the top is two ounces. Cool, take a mental note, cool. You're trying to do this real quick because you're trying to head up the dough. Any other way to who, right? Cool, let me take it back, hold on. All right, first, this is what we gonna do. We are gonna take the tequila, right? This bottle is so sexy, y'all. I think I'm gonna always buy this now because it's like so sexy and it just fits the vibe of the apartment, like the gold. Oh! It's just sexy. So we're gonna do two ounces of tequila. So we're gonna fill this, the long side up, all the way up, and we're gonna fill it up with tequila, okay? And we're gonna pour it in here. Bam. Right, cool. Then we're gonna take the one ounce side and we're gonna fill it with lemon juice, okay? Cool. So one ounce of lemon juice so we're gonna do um no i'm sorry we're gonna do one and a half ounce one and one quarter we're gonna do one and one quarter of lemon juice okay so basically the whole thing and then like a little, little splash so we're gonna do one and a quarter of lemon juice we're gonna do um two ounces of tequila and then we're gonna take our simple syrup and we're gonna do an ounce of simple syrup all right, it's about to be a vibe, baby, it's about to be a vibe. We're gonna do a little less than an ounce, so don't hit the rim necessarily, but go like a little bit less on the rim, all right? Because, and I say that because the fruit that we're gonna use is gonna add natural sugars to your cocktail. So, um, once you do that, you take your raspberry, so we're gonna take raspberry, I'm gonna take three pieces of raspberry, I'm gonna rinse it off, and then I'm gonna put it in here and we're gonna muddle it, okay? So, bam, put the raspberries in there. And then I'm gonna take, before we muddle it, if that's the right word, I'm gonna take one um, blackberry. Black. No, well, I don't know if you can eat blackberries, so I have to throw that away, sorry. You know your, your dogs can eat fruits and stuff like that, but I just don't know which fruits is like good for them. All right, moving on. So after that, I'm going to take some mint leaves, right? I'm gonna take maybe about like three mint leaves, depending on how minty you want it to be. And actually, I'm, I'm just gonna throw that in there. Don't judge me. And then I'm gonna take this muddler, right? And I'm just gonna mash that in. Mash all that in, mash all that in. And it smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. Look, I'm that chick. I'm that friend out the group that when she smells a cocktail, she's like, she know whether or not it's gonna be good or bad. This part here, I already know this is gonna be And it's not because I'm making it, it's because it's the truth. All right, so we done already like muddled that in or whatnot. Cool, now I'm about to get some ice. I'm about to get some ice real quick. Hold on, one second.
So me, I just got a handful of ice from the freezer. Put it in there real quick. And we're gonna put the top on. Okay? I'm just so mad that the top must be in the sink. I just don't wanna get my sleeves wet. Who's that? I just don't wanna get my sleeves wet. But, um, hold on real quick. So since we don't have the top part to this, normally we put like a cap on. So it, the, like the stuff don't fly out because this has like holes in it. I'm just gonna, <laughs> wait, maybe not. Hold on, let me figure this out. Hold up. I'm just gonna do this, right? I'm just gonna shake it up. <laughs> but in reality, you wanna be able to like, in reality, you wanna be able to like, chicka chicka chaka chicka, chicka chicka chaka, a chicka chicka chaka chicka, a chicka chicka chaka, a chicka chicka chaka, that's what you really want to do in regards to like the shaker, but I couldn't do all that because I ain't really trying to make all of that mess, right? Cool. So then I'm gonna take this lemon juice. I'm just gonna you can use a bowl, you can use a, a plate, you can use the counter, you can use whatever you want to do. I'm gonna use this lemon juice, just pour a little bit in the bowl, right? And then I'm gonna take my cup. This is my cup, my plastic cup. I'm using a plastic cup because I'm about to get into my, ooh. So, I'm gonna like spin it around in the lemon juice, just like this. Just to get the rim wet. You know, you just want the rim wet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You want it, you want it nice and wet. You want it nice and wet. Okay? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I'm just gonna, because I don't wanna keep wasting dishes, I'm gonna like rinse this out real quick and dry it. All right, so now that I've rinsed it out, I've dried it out, you want it to be dry because if you put sugar in there, then it's just gonna be like, it's gonna be like wet sugar and that's not what, the, that's not what we want for. So I'm gonna pour literally just like a little bit, whoop, just a little bit of sugar in there because you don't need a lot because this is only going on the rim, right? You take your cup, mm, you take your cup, you put your cup in there, and you just like roll it around, just like you did the, the, the lemon juice, you just roll it around in there because you want the sugar to attach to the rim and that's how you get the sugar rim. So lemon juice, sugar, lime juice, sugar, honey. When I use honey as um, my rim coat, I like to use brown sugar. So brown sugar and honey, look, I'm giving y'all too much tea. We, not, we gotta wait for the content, but for the for the for the regular white sugar, for the sugar cane, white sugar cane, you know, bleach sugar, we're gonna use the lemon juice and the sugar. So now we have the sugar on the rim. Cute, cool, vibe, period. All right, I'm gonna get some more ice. You don't have to, cause you can definitely make it a cocktail. Actually, yeah, if this had a stem, I would just use it as a cocktail. You know, like like um, you know how like Manhattan's or lemon drops are in like a a cocktail stem like type of situation ship and ain't no ice. Yeah, so you can definitely have it. Anywho, I'm gonna just show y'all how to make this drink. I'm gonna put some ice in this cup. Bam, we got some ice in the cup. Now what we about to do is take this baby and pour it into the cup, right? <laughs> Here we go. Pour it in there, pour it in there, pour it in there. <laughs> look, it look. It, it'll be more if I had more ice in here, but it's okay. This is a, the amount of alcohol and stuff that you're supposed to have in a cocktail anyways. That's why when cocktails come to you, they be having a lot of ice in it, or it being like a really short cup because this is the measurement for an actual cocktail. This shit about to be so good, oh my God. Now, what I do is I take my ginger candy. I don't take the whole entire thing, obviously. But I just take a piece of it. Hold on real quick. I just take a piece of it and I pour it. I'm good, how you feeling? It's fucking snowing out here. I'm sorry to hear that, that's so trash. I know, you over there making drinks and cocktails and margaritas? I'm, yeah, I'm trying to show my kindreds how to make a drink. Drinks by Nazi. Drinks by Nazi. Yes. Period. <laughs> period. That's your 
Okay, you want to know the ingredients? We got some Tres Generaciones Tequila Repesado. You, you remind me of your mother, yeah? Do I? Yeah, she she really be chilling like that with her bar and shit. Mm-hmm. She a vibe. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. You know, that's like my, that's she my idol. <laughs> yeah, nah, she be chilling. She be chilling. I'm gonna definitely invest into that bar. You gonna invest into that bar? Oh, the um cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. The cabinet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fire. Yeah, that's I'm all the way home though, man. Get uh wherever place you want to get your work done. Get this safe. Okay. Talk to you soon. Alright. Bye. All right. <laughs> So, yeah. All right, so this is the drink. Look, all I did was put the ginger candy in there with the rosemary. And that is that. Now we're gonna do a tester. If you want, what I personally really like to do, which, matter of fact, I'm gonna do it because it's my drink. I'm gonna do it. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I like to pour, I already, look, drink some of it, but I like to pour um, ginger beer into my cocktails. My mom, she doesn't really like for me to pour ginger beers in her cocktails, but I like ginger beer in my cocktail and it's still good. Mm. Mm. Woo! Baby, I promise you, I'm not just saying this because it's my drink. It's literally that damn good. This is like the first drink that I make for my friends. Like, this is like the first, like if, I, if I'm about to make a drink for you, this is like one of the first drinks that I'm gonna introduce you to. And it's called the Menage, all right? It's called the Menage. Cause baby, this drink I have you. Oh. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead mm. and finish this. Call me an Uber, go to get some work done, come back home. Be Picasso, cause I got two more days left in school. <laughs> I got two more days left in school and I got two, one, two, three, three projects to finish up on. So yeah, that's gonna be my evening. Wish me luck, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take y'all with me, but please keep me in your prayers, baby. Keep me in your prayers, okay? To the good life. Yeah, stacking this purse so these niggas know I'm working. I'm holding this clock in my burger. Niggas got a whole that L trying to come for my pen. I'm really finna make another M. Now tell me how the fuck I'm in the wrong if I don't want the nigga and he still ain't fucking with the bitch. I be working. I make moves in silence. Hoes might never like me and I'm fine with it. Nasty. I'm a real nigga fantasy. I'll drop dead for a broke nigga handle me. You say, this is bitch, bitch energy. Y'all little hoes still drinking that Hennessy. Messy. And I'm sick of y'all trying it. Bitch got seats, but ain't never finna buy shit. Sorry, hoes hate me cause I'm the it girl. Girl. Don't call me sis cause I'm not your sister You really need to come to get your mister Seeing all my ops linked up in the picture Everybody look busted, injured Stock on my page, bitch, probably wanna scissor I'll in the mouth like I kissed her I make rules in silence Hoes might never like me and I'm fine with it Nasty, I'm a real nigga We're in a found, we made it to our destination Alright, we, we just had a drink at the house Okay, let's go 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 on a good old Sunday, okay? Um, I, I came to True Kitchen. That's like by Linux, like right next to Linux, like right next to Linux. It's called True Kitchen. And I went ahead and I ordered me a common bound. It has bourbon in it. I know we was drinking tequila. <laughs> I know we was drinking tequila. But I'm about to tell y'all what the common bound is. And when I saw it, I just knew that it was just gonna be fire because it had like some of the same spices in the kind of store. So it has the bourbon, it has pressed apple, chai spice, and lemon. So um, I just know this is gonna be good. And then it also has like my favorite Maggiano cherries. These are like my favorite cherries to put into a cocktail. I don't like them bright red cherries. These right here. We got it. We got it. Put it. We got it. Put it. Put it. Put it. Put it. Put it. It's giving what I thought it was gonna give. Honestly, because I feel like I'm like like a. Um. Honestly, if I was gonna make this at home, it would have been a little bit more potent. This is giving me watery. So he gives me water. It's still good. It's still good, and I still taste all.
all the notes. I taste everything that they put into this cocktail, but it's just a little bit too watery for me. That's just my opinion. But I'm about to um, probably with my food, go ahead and start editing it. I gotta connect my AirPods to my laptop because it's kind of loud in here. So, yeah, the girls are being productive today, okay? She's feeling good today. She's being productive. Look, 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 we gotta keep this going. We gotta, we gotta keep this energy going. But, anyways, so. I'm home right now. I had already put like brushes away. I have went to like Trader Joe's. So once I'm done my makeup, I'm gonna go in the kitchen and start like whipping up some stuff for the girls so that we can have something on our tummy because we're gonna be going out. My girl Ariel is gonna be hosting tonight. So we're all gonna be just like linking up and just having a good time tonight. You know, I know y'all like girls' nights. I heard y'all, I heard y'all down there in the comments talking about, oh, we love girls' nights, period. Cause I like girls' nights too. It's a vibe. <laughs> but I'm about to make some stuffed peppers. Like some mini stuffed peppers with like ground turkey and some cheese and stuff. And then I got like some buffalo dip and some chips. And I'm about to make some nice drinks. It's about to be a vibe. It's about to be a vibe. We got some organic ground turkey from Trader Joe's. This shit about to be busting. I've never had stuff to make stuffed peppers before. But I'm about to have them tonight. I hate that my camera can be like this. Now look, please. All right, so your girl is dressed. Is it this light? I don't know what light it is, but something like this. Let's see. Is that better? That might be a little bit better. Actually, that might be a little better. Okay. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, y'all. Okay, so I'm about to make me a drink because I'm not really like feeling myself. Y'all know how like y'all get dressed, you get hair, you get makeup, and just something ain't hitting, something ain't clicking, something ain't right, something ain't right. I don't know what it is, but not a little please. I feel like something ain't right. And I feel like, I think it's more so on an internal thing than an external thing. No, look, please. I feel like, is it right outside? Lord, please don't tell me it's right outside. You don't want the girls to be outside today? Just say that. That's right, I think that's right. But, you know what I'm saying? I wore money green today because I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look like money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I look like money, but I'm trying to look like money. I feel like my like, you know what I'm So I'm about to just give me a drink. Ooh, murder. Oh, she look real warm. I look real toasty. Is that good or bad? Good, I like looking golden. I look like the sun that they up to my skin. They're good? Mm -hmm. I didn't try it. You didn't try it yet? Uh-uh. I was trying to do it. Girl. Oh. Did she just cough? Or oh, flee? Can you sit down? Mm -hmm. Go sit. Ready to cheers. Cheers. Oh. Okay. What? Let's get it. Ready? What do you mean? What's what? Are you ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you really ready? Yeah, but. What you mean? I'm, I'm looking for a chaser. Chaser? Or do we just. Thug no. it out? I'm not chasing. Wait, you weren't going to do a chaser. I'm going to thug it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thug it out. Thug it out. Thug it out. Thug it out. I can't hold this in for that. Okay. Cheers again. Ready? She's not to do it. What you want some ginger beer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ew. Oh, you made a cheese cake? I tried. She she made the ours was really good. The one she made was really good. And then she told me to make her one. So I tried. Oh, this is so cute. I miss a lot. I miss all the fun. I know. Well, we kind of just got back upstairs like 10 minutes ago. From where? Taking pictures. Oh, oh are these pictures? Do you have another one? Oh, oh. Just put me in there. Oh, that one. Use that one. I haven't tried it, so I don't know. I don't know if I put too much alcohol or not. No such thing. No You can save the bag. What is it? Hold on, hold on. Can you, can you taste the alcohol? I taste more ginger. I just put like two or three splashes. Cause I didn't want the, it's too much alcohol. I mean, uh -uh. Too, too little alcohol. Uh -huh. I taste the alcohol. I put. I taste the alcohol. I, I taste the ginger. The raspberry and the raspberry or blackberry. Both. Uh -huh. I was trying to make it. I, I don't know. What I was Something's doing. more powerful than the other, so I don't taste everything she put in there. <laughs> but I do taste the tequila and I do taste the ginger. Let me see it. You, she has to make yours, not me. Okay, so I'm not. Did you put mint in it at all? No. Oh. I didn't know. 